aims of uh, the COST program, and especially AVAC, are to build bridges between several European groups so that also countries in Europe which have a little bit less money can profit from the more richer countries that already the experience gained in those countries can be used in kinds of collaborations but also sharing all this output. And so this has allowed us to accelerate our research because we learn from each other and then are better able to find populations of regulatory cells and manufacture them in a way that can be used as a cell therapy eventually in humans. Basically, the cellular therapy is a new form of the therapy for so-called unmet medical needs. So it covers the people who cannot be treated or other forms of the treatment do not work for them. The autoimmune diseases are some of the examples that we can choose for using this kind of therapies. Multiple sclerosis, diabetes uh, type 1, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus. Other application is mainly the transplantation. This patient has to be treated with very toxic drugs and cellular therapy seems to be a promising alternative. The program itself is very interesting but for me the most important thing was that in this group the people were really open, they were sharing all their data. So for every new patient you don't benefit from the expertise of the center, but you also benefit from the expertise of all the other centers all across Europe. For people like me, it's a need to interact with experts that have been working with cell tolerance for the last 15, 20 years. I learned new techniques, new methods, and I expanded my knowledge, and uh, it gave me lots of new ideas that I can use in my uh, further research. For me it was very important because I, I, I was able to uh, set up ver uh, new collaborations and this is the basis of uh, good science. I would say that uh, without this action we would be probably a few years behind other laboratories so it was absolutely great story for us. <laughs>